yeah i'm back again Tunji again from scissor graphics welcome to my channel today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this memory day poster i especially did this to honor the men and women who died while serving in the u.s military so without any further ado let's jump into today's tutorial so let's create a new document so i'm going to click on file and select new so for this project i'm going to use 720 by 900 because um posting is on social media all right so i'm going to make my resolution 100 and i'll change make the title md meaning memorial day and um i'll leave every other setting the way they are and i'm just going to click on the create button and um the first thing i'm going to bring in is the picture of the grass so i'm going to drag that and drop here and i'm going to scale this real big just like so and i'll position this somewhere around here like so all right then um i'm gonna hard curve to this so as to you know boost the shadow and highlight a bit so i'm just gonna drag this down like so just push this up a bit so i'll right click and rasterize this because i want the background of the grass to fill the white space here so i'm gonna draw a marquee here like so and I'll click edit and then I'll select content aware scale. Then I hold on shift and drag this up like so and hit the enter key. Then I'm going to use the control D, which is the the um the select uh, marquee shortcut on, on the, my keyboard here. So the next thing we're doing now is to fill our background with a cloud. I'm using Photoshop CC 2021. So if you don't have the version of Photoshop I am using here, it's possible you may not be able to achieve this uh, move I'm about to make now. So I'm going to go to edit and select rep sky replacement. Then I'm going to choose this sky and I'm going to uh, hit the OK button. So Photoshop will create a new layer of that sky for me. And uh, for the temperature, I'm going to delete the temperature because I don't need the temperature, but I need the um, brightness so i'm going to move this above this and i'm going to increase the brightness like so and i'll right I'll, I'll select the layer of the sky and i'll bring out the free transform and flip this all right and this should be somewhere around here then i'll zoom out i'll scale this real big like so okay so uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to add the uh, black and white adjustment. So I'm going to select the adjustment tab and I'm going to add the black and white um, to this. So the reason why I'm adding black and white to this is to, you know, reduce the strength of the color on the project. So I'm going to select soft light here. Now you see this is the before and this is the after. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the opacity of that layer to 54 so i'm going to drag the flag and drop like so and just position this here then i'm going to scale this real big like so and i'm going to push this down and i'll add a layer mask and select the brush tool and make sure you are on the soft round brush when you are doing this and i'm going to, just going to take out part of the flag from the scene like so I'm going to unchain the layer from the layer mask because I want to be able to move the flag down and not and not affect the layer mask. So I'm going to click on the chain back now and I'm going to um, bring in the, the graveyard. So I'm just going to drag that and drop here and scale this down and move this somewhere around here. Okay then i'm going to position this behind this move this down i'm just going to push this go down a bit and I'll push it up a bit like so and i'll make a copy of this then i'm going to bring out the free transform and flip this horizontal and this should be somewhere here like so it's going to move this in just like so all right let me just see all right this is good so i'm going to um merge the two layers so i'll go to layer and select merge um, layers then i'm going to move this down and i'll add a layer mask to this and select the brush tool 
then I'm just going to take out the graveyard layer from the back of the flag like so. Alright, and um, the next thing I'm going to do now is to add a gradient map. So I'm going to go to the adjustment tab here and add a gradient map. So I only want this to apply to just only the, um, the graveyard. So I'm just going to click on this icon to do that. Then I'm going to go here. Then I'll double click here and just pick um, something um, dark orange like so. And he here I'm going to pick um, a shade of orange like so. Make it brighter a bit. I'm going to make it brighter. Now select the OK button. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click the OK button, then I'm going to change the blend mode of this to soft light. Alright, now this is good. So now, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to add a light, um, you know, effect to this. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'll call this light. Then I'll select the brush tool. Then I'm just going to select, I'm going to move to this shade of orange. Zoom of the orange. All right. I'm going to change my blend mode to screen. All right. All right. Then the next thing I'm going to do, you know what, let's just add that light effect to the side and just reduce the opacity a bit. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add my, um, sun effect okay so uh i'm not because of time i'm not going to be teaching you guys how to achieve the sun effect in this tutorial but if you want to learn how to create sun effect with photoshop i have a link up here that you can make use of that will take you to the tutorial where i explain how to achieve sun effect with photoshop so i already created an action of um, the sun effect so i'm just going to click to add the action like so and I'm going to click on continue then I'm going to move this here like so and I'm going to move this down just like so and this should be here like so and what I'm going to do now is to click on the OK button then I'm going to select the brush tool and I'm just going to gently take out the sun effect from this side of my project just like so. All right, so I'm going to move this above this, like so, and I'm going to move, select the brush tool, sound effect from the flag, like so. I'm going to hide the helmet, all right, and I'm going to push that here and just scale it down, like so, and position this here. All right, then I'm going to select my brush tool, then I'll go to brush settings. So I'm going to be using the custom grass brush that I created. So I'm going to put the link here for you guys to download the uh, brush. So I'm going to add a layer mask to this. And I'll zoom in and select the brush, the grass brush. Then I'm going to turn off transfer and I'll go to my brush tip and I'll make sure that my angle is set to uh, 8. So I decided to use 8 so as to have different angle of the brush so now i'm just going to reduce the size of the brush and just start applying the brush to the project like so Right now, the next thing I'm going to do now is to add shadow to the helmet. So I'm going to create a new layer and call this shadow and click on the OK button. And I'm going to switch this to black. All right. You know what? Let's just use dark brown. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to use dark brown and select the OK button. Now, this time I'm going to change my blend mode to uh, multiply. Uh, you know what? I think I still need to just make it more darker and I'm going to click on the OK button. Now I'll go to the brush settings and I'll go to the brush tip and use a soft round brush. 
this time i'm going to turn on my transfer option and i'm going to turn off shape dynamic so for those of you that don't have a graphics tablet remember to switch your flow to 15 all right and you are going to achieve the same effect so i'm just going to apply the shadow like so I'm going to push this out this shadow like so so the next thing i'm going to do is to add um a color lookup so i'll go to the adjustment tab and I'll go to the color lookup option here and I'll change my blend mode to edgy hammer and I'll change my opacity to 38 I'm going to make a copy of this gradient and just move this above all the layers like so all right then uh, I'm going to change the opacity to uh, let's say 68 I don't want it to touch the grass. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the brush tool and go to the brush settings and choose the soft round brush. Increase the size of the brush. Make sure that you still have your flow to be 15. But if you have a graphics table, just leave your transfer um, option checked. So I'm just going to take this out from here like so and gently take it out from the helmet. Now, the reason why we have the transfer option check is because um you know we want to be able to control the strength of our brush so if you don't have it check you may not be able to control the strength of your um, brush all right so i'm just gonna take it out from here like so and um so for the flag i'm gonna take it out from the flag because i'm losing the blue color of the american flag so i'm just gonna gently take it out from here I still need to move this cloud a little bit more to this side so I'm going to move this here so then I'm going to um, stamp visible of all the layers so I'm going to hold hold ctrl shift alt and e to do that and I'll go to filter and I'll select camera or filter here I'm going to start with the basics and I'm going to uh, make my temperature one and um, so for exposure I don't want too much exposure so I'm gonna make this 0 0.25 all right then uh, my contrast is going to be 24 yeah then um, highlights all right I want the side to be more brighter so I'm gonna make that uh, let's say 9 and um, for my shadow I'm gonna make that 16 all right yeah so i decided to brighten the shadow a little bit more so as to make the project more brighter and so for my um what for the white all right so for the white i'm going to make that 24 all right so for the texture i'm going to make that a because i want to add um you know i want to add more contrast to the pixels all right all right so for the curve i'm going to do, do the s curve here but i'm going to do it gently okay so this should be like so and i'm gonna close this then for the detail i'm gonna increase the sharpen all right and i'm gonna close that then uh, for the color mixer um on the he or the red that's on the hue tab i'm gonna make that uh, minus seven all right i want to reduce the strength of the red and uh, for the orange i'm gonna make that 10 then i'm gonna leave yellow and i'll make the green 100 because i want to be able to have you know um i want to be able to boost the color of my grass all right then um for the aquas i'm gonna make the aquas uh, let's say 42 because i want to be able to have different you know shade of um the grass so i'm gonna make that um let's say 42 okay then um saturation tab i'm gonna make my red go straight to 100 all right but um you know what we need to be very careful with this because it's affecting this side of the flag so i'm gonna just stop at uh, 51 and i'll make my orange go down all right so i'll make that minus 20 then um, for the yellow i'll make that um, let's say minus 16 should be fine all right then um for 
my green all right i'm gonna make that minus 80 85 yeah i'm gonna make that 85 now you see we're beginning to see this uh this wall look <laughs> this vintage look um green here so i'm gonna make that uh, minus 85 all right let's just move it up a bit all right this is good and um so for the blue all right i'm gonna go touch the aqua so i'm gonna go straight to the blue and i'm gonna make the blue 60 because of the color of the flag here so i'm gonna make it 60 okay and i'm going to select um so i'm okay with that then let's go straight to the split tone and i'm gonna make um, that uh, 34 all right um because i want to be able to boost the yellow on the on the project a bit so i'm gonna just uh, make the saturation 20 then i am gonna make the you know what let's just make it 16 or 14 is fine i'm gonna close this then i am gonna go straight to the effect tab here and i'm gonna add noise to the project like so and i'm gonna add a vignette like so all right i'm gonna add a vignette like so okay then the last part is the calibration so i'm going to um make my red um hue four then I'll make my saturation 24. All right. Then for the green, I'm going to make that 19 because of my grass. All right. Then I'm going to make the saturation 16. Okay. And I think everything is fine. I'm going to select the OK button now. And this is the before and this is the after. Now you see we have this huge difference. All right. So now I am going to type the um, text, all right? And I'm going to be very fast with that. All right, so I have my text now. And um, so the font, the font that I use here is um, Helvetica, all right? And um, so I have everything ready to go. So this is the final project. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have not subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring the bell so you will be notified when I post my tutorials. Kindly share, like, and comment on this tutorial. I'll see you guys again in the next one. Peace.